So, what is mouse sensitivity and what is DPI? Why do I need to know this? And how can I adjust the mouse sensitivity? Mouse sensitivity is pretty straightforward. If your mouse is highly sensitive, then the slightest hand movement will cause your cursor to quickly shoot across the screen, while a low sensitivity will make it so very large hand movements will result with your cursor slowly dragging across the screen. Alright, but how can I calculate sensitivity? The measurement for mouse sensitivity is GPI, dots per inch. I'll use some visual aids to help explain the measurement. Okay, so let's add a grid to display the pixels. Now, let's measure out one inch. At this level of sensitivity, we can see that the dots per inch is seven. So if we were to move the mouse one inch, then it will move the cursor seven pixels. Now let's double the sensitivity. There are now 14 dots per inch. So now, this time, when we move the mouse one inch, it will register as moving 14 pixels on our monitor or TV. Can I set the DPI level on my mouse to any number I want? And does every mouse have the same DPI options? You can only set the DPI up to the max capability of your mouse laser. For example, my mouse has a max of 5600 DPI, so I can set my DPI anywhere between 100 and 5,600. When shopping for a mouse, look at the max DPI. The more precise of a laser the mouse has, the higher the DPI can be. Why would I want to change my mouse sensitivity? Well, with low resolution displays, a low DPI will feel sensitive enough, but when using a higher resolution, you will need to compensate with a higher mouse DPI. Claw and fingertip users will also need a higher DPI than palm users. When playing a game, a higher DPI will cut down the amount of time it takes to move your crosshair, making your reactions faster. If you are playing an FPS game, then when using an MG, you may want a high DPI, and when you are using a sniper rifle, you will need to lower your DPI to make slow, precise movements. If you do any photoshopping, then when you get into close-up details, you will need an extremely low DPI for those really precise brush movements. So, how do I change my mouse sensitivity? The simplest way to do this is to change your operating system settings. For Windows users, follow these steps. Press Windows R. This will bring up the run service. Type into the field control space main dot cpl and hit OK. This will bring up the mouse properties. Select the pointer options tab. Now set the pointer speed to your desired sensitivity. But sometimes I want to quickly change my sensitivity, and doing it in Windows takes too long. Some mice have their own software to change between sensitivity profiles using hotkeys. Not my mouse. Is there any software like this that works with just about any mouse? Yes, there is. One of the free programs that you can use is called Mouse Speed Switcher. You can download it at gphotoshow.com. I now have my mouse sensitivity set up exactly how I want it. When I play Call of Duty, the sensitivity feels good, but when I play a different game like, for example, Minecraft, the sensitivity is messed up. Not every game has by default the same sensitivity as another game. Some games you can go into the game options and change the sensitivity. Using the software I've downloaded for my mouse, I can also change to a different sensitivity profile depending on the game. Right? Correct. What's the setting called the mouse acceleration? When I have it turned on, my mouse movement keeps acting weird. Mouse acceleration makes it so that if you quickly move your mouse, it will move your cursor much farther than if you were to move your mouse slowly. This makes muscle memory extremely hard, and I suggest that you turn the setting off. Okay, I've turned it off in Windows now, but when I play a game, it feels like it's still on. Always go into your game settings and make sure it is turned off. Some games have mouse acceleration turned on by default. 
I'm tired of learning about sensitivity. I think that's all I need to know, but if I have any more questions, I'll post them in the comments section.